You know I love talking about cellular signal boosters. The thing is that it's a technology that just works probably 95% of the time or more. And it's something that people need. You know, lots of people get low signal every single day, no matter where they are, whether it's at home or at work or working at home, you get low signal. You're not getting the performance that you'll want out of your cell phone. And so you get a cell booster and you take it home and there's a small percentage of people who put one up and they find it doesn't work. I'm talking to these people right now and I want to give you the three reasons that your cell booster might not be working. The most common reason is you've put the two antennas too close to each other. You know, some of the recent WeBoost boosters come with an image of somebody mounting the antenna up to a hot water heater chimney, and that doesn't help because really what you want is to have that outdoor antenna 15 feet higher than the indoor antenna, which is pretty easy if you've got a two-story house, and it's a lot harder if you don't. If you can't get 15 feet of vertical separation, well, then you're going to have to get 15 feet of separation some other way. You, know, you can look on the internet for the Pythagorean theorem, and this is something that is going to help you understand how far away one thing is going to be from another, because you're going to describe uh, basically a triangle with a vertical end and a horizontal end, and you're going to try to determine how far away they are, and that's the hypotenuse, if you're into that mathematical stuff. So the goal is to have 20 feet of separation between the booster inside antenna and the outside antenna. This is very possible. Usually it's going to mean, you know, putting the inside antenna on one side of the house, the outside antenna on the other side of the house. You might need to get a little bit of extra cable. You might not because a lot of these boosters come with 50 feet of cable, which is usually enough for almost anything that you're going to want to do. Just make sure that these two things are as far apart as you can make them, because if not, they feed back on each other and the power level is automatically reduced. That means you're not getting the value out of that booster that you want. Problem two is that perhaps you bought the wrong booster. A lot of times you'll look at the amount of square feet that maybe some manufacturers will say, and you'll say, oh, that's, that's good for me. Uh, most of the uh, manufacturers now don't quote square feet. They just call, say, small, medium, large home, or small office, medium office, or enterprise, that sort of thing. This is really better because it's not fair to say, okay, this is going to work in a 1,500 square foot home because chances are it won't. 1,500 square feet homes vary wildly. Some of them have aluminum studs. Some have flex conduit in the walls. Some have maybe even a little bit of lead somewhere in them. And this blocks signal a lot. So, you know, my advice to you is to buy a booster that is about double the size that you think you're going to need. You know, that extra power isn't going to go to waste and you're not going to be charged for it on a monthly basis. You'll pay a little bit more for the booster up front, but keep in mind a cell booster only costs as much as one medium to high-end phone and it's going to outlast your next three phones plus take care of everybody else in your home, not just you. It's worth the investment. Make sure you've got a powerful enough booster so that your entire area is covered. How do you know if you've got this problem? Well, if you're getting fairly decent boost in the same room as your booster, but then really nothing beyond that, you've probably got the wrong booster. And the other reason that sometimes you're just not getting what you want out of a cell booster is that there is no signal to boost. What you want to do is find a friend with an Android phone, if you're an iPhone person, or if you have an Android phone yourself, that's great. Look for a free Signal Finder app for cellular. You know, there's tons of them out there, and yeah, they're advertiser-supported. You're, you're going to use it once and probably never use it again. So find this app, install it, and I'm telling you that Android is better than iOS because iOS, really, they, they've got a field test mode, but it doesn't always work. They, they have a habit of changing it from version to version, so I, I'm not going to guarantee that that would work. And these 
Uh, these apps for Android are free and they're plentiful, so just get that. You want to see numbers that are greater than negative 110. So negative 108 is fine, negative 100 is fine, negative 90 is fine. Negative 120 is not. So any number that's a greater than negative 110, for example, negative 111, is not going to necessarily give you the boost that you want. You cannot amplify signal that you do not have. It's just that simple. And if you don't have that signal, what can you do? You can try putting the outdoor antenna higher. You can try getting a more sensitive outdoor antenna. Or you can try re-aiming that antenna. Again, there are a lot of free apps that will tell you where the cell towers are. Try to aim directly at one, and you might get a little bit better signal, especially if you put that antenna nice and high. Now that you know the three reasons that a cell booster might not work, it's time to choose the right one. If you haven't bought one yet, go to SolidSignal.com and search for the right cellular signal booster for you. If you already have the wrong cellular signal booster, great news. A lot of these things have great resale value. Put them up there on a site like eBay or something like that. Then go to Solid Signal and get the right one. Unless you're just, you know, adding an antenna or something like that, it's not really worth taking what you've got and trying to upgrade it. It's really worth getting the right thing to begin with. Check out SolidSignal.com for all of your cellular signal booster needs. And if you have questions, give us a call. 877-312-4547.